we're going to discuss post back now. Um, post back is uh, originates from the client. Um, so if we have an ASP web form that has uh, information that we're going to collect from the user, uh, we can collect that information. And then when the user clicks the submit button, the web server will reinterpret the pages using the code behind and also using the user input. So post back is the second time we've seen the page and the second time includes user input. So deleting things from a database, uh, submitting new information to a database, those kinds of things. So to take a look at this, we'll get back to our form. We're going to stick in a text box so we can collect some information. And then we'll also stick in a button. I've taken these classes and made them objects, so now I need to give them unique IDs. Text box I like to call TV underscore. Buttons or BTN. And I also want to change this button text property. Right now it just says button. I want to change it to submit. So now when the web page loads, uh, we have this question and we have a text box that the user can uh, type their name in and then they can click submit. I want an event to fire when the submit button is clicked. So I could go into the code behind and choose my options. Easier is just to double click the submit button. Automatically takes you to the code behind, automatically creates the event for you. When this button is clicked, I want to collect the information that's in that text box. I want to store it in a variable. Notice this has predictive text. So as I start typing, it will find uh, the closest matches for me and pop them up here. And I want to grab the text property of that text box and stick it in that variable. So now I have it stored in a variable. What can I do with it? Well, I'm going to dump it back out. I'll stick another label in there. Let me get rid of the text that's already in there. Notice it says label. I want that to be blank so I can overwrite it. So I'm going to just blank it out. And I'm going to give it a unique name. into that text property. I want to write this string. So I want to pass the string hello. It's a string. It's in quotes. It's just going to literally dump that back out. I want to concatenate to that. So I'm going to use an ampersand or add to that the variable name. So now dumping into that label should be hello and then whatever the user types in that box. I'll save all this up and let's test it in the browser. The page is not in postback. It's the first time the browser has seen this page and it has no user inputs uh, to manipulate. 
as soon as I put my name in there and I click the submit button, the browser went back and it reinterpreted default.aspx using the code behind default.aspx.vb and in default.aspx we collected the username vb stored it into a variable populated that variable and then spit it back out the page is now in postback this is the second time we've seen this particular page and this time it includes user input I want to also use post back to control my display. So when the user first sees this page, I want this to appear. But once they type their name into it and submit it, I only want the label to appear. I don't want the text box and the button to appear. So I can come in here and manipulate I can use an if then else statement. So I'm escaping out of the HTML. What's coming is ASP code. Uh, if then, and then I'll do the else here in a minute, but uh, if it's not, is post back. So this is the first time the page has been seen. I want to display what is your first name along with the submit button. else. So this is, the page is in post back. Then I want to end the if statement. So if not is post back, it's the first time the page is seen, display the box and the button. Else, so the page is now in post back, display just the label. And this lets us know that it's ASP. Uh, we're inside a form that has run at server. So run at server is looking for this particular information. The server is looking for these particular commands. Save it all up and let's view it. So my text box and button are visible. And when it's in post back, they're not visible. 